Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to be playing some Gardevoir. Uh, new set is released. I honestly, um, I got really burnt out playing uh, basically last month. Uh, you know, I was having friends come over uh, once or twice a week, playing for like hours at a time. Um, you know, playing online, watching videos, and um, I got back into retro Yu-Gi-Oh! And so my mind has been like completely occupied with that. But um, I am going to NAIC, and so I feel like I need to at least just like brush up on the game a little bit before I go in. And there's a few things I want to iron out before I go. But the deck list, I think, is really close to what I want it. And that's one of the reasons why uh, I also haven't been playing as much. So I have been, you know, turned on to the idea of running the uh, Cresselia because I think it's just way too good against Dragon Pult. And also just having another single prize attacker is just not that bad. Um... I think I still want the Mimikyu in here. I do want the Klefki. I just want more, like another way to like maybe slow down Lost Zone decks. You know, for example, if I go first and I have Poffin, I can pop in this, attach an energy retreat, maybe slow him down a little bit. And then of course, you know, you have to run the Mana Fee against, uh, you know, all the Greninja decks. Don't think you need Jirachi because you have Cresselia and Monkey Dory to get rid of damage now. And I do opt to run the Double Drift Loon. I don't like one, I don't want to attack it gets answered and then I have to super odd every time I want to like a big swing because if they run like um say it's like a uh, triple you know um a triple two prizer then I want to like you know single take it out every time I I'd, I'd like to be able to at least get two drift loon attacks in without having super odd so that's a thing um basically the only consideration in the deck now is if I think ultra ball should be at two and nest ball at three or the other way around because sometimes it is hard to find a guard of war and Countercatcher could potentially be a two of if I need to run Hammer and Sinnoh because um, I think the uh, new A-Spec Energy with Lugia it makes it really hard if they get it off with an Iron Hands. I want to make sure I have an out to that. And then the uh, final consideration is running Arvin over Irida because I understand you run Irida because you want to get the Hyper Aroma and then you want to search Greninja and just have a really, really strong setup. And um, in a lot of testing, I've been telling, you know, my friends that um, it seems like, you know, the more Ralts you open with, the better your chances are of winning the game. And so I understand if you run Irida and you get that Greninja and you, um, if you get the Greninja, then your chances of drawing Ralts goes up. I just realized there's no heavy ball in here. So I need to correct that now. I was changing it over from other lists, but you have to run the heavy ball if you run the Monkey Dory. So... Um, you know, there is just no other way of doing it. Just making sure I didn't have a hollow version. But yeah, you just have to run this. Also, if you prize or Greninja, that could also be an issue. So those are basically the things that I am wrestling with. Um, also, if you run the Irida, you probably don't run the TM Evo. I don't even know how I really feel about the TM Evo since I am running the Hyper Aroma. But I think if I don't open up, it just gives me more ways of, of being consistent, basically. And then you have the two Dark Energy, the eight Psychics, which is... You know, seems standard at this point. And uh, unlike most lists, I am still running a Luxurious Cape because um, sometimes I just I just want to attack for the full thing. I don't want to have to transfer energy over with Monkey Dory. I want to be able to hit Dragon Pulse and Charizards and all that good stuff. But it, it may end up not being necessary and coming out of the deck. But I do enjoy having it in. And I also, sometimes just having the two tools, if one gets prized, it seems like, you know, that could be a problem. So... I say it's almost ironed out. There's a lot of considerations, but I already know, you know, this is this is like 99% there, right? 98% there, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hop on and um, play some games and just get back into the groove here. All right, let's see if I even remember how to play this game. I've been playing a lot of Edison the last couple weeks. <laughs> Went to one Edison, went to my fourth ever Edison local. Um, I say local, it was like an hour and eight minutes away. But it was pretty fun. I ended up going three and one. I was pretty happy with it. Doo -doo. Not sure if I'm going to play more than one game. Um, going first is correct. I will not be convinced otherwise. 
Well, you know, I could have a million basics and, and not draw basics. That's another thing I hate about this game is giving my opponent a um, better start. Simply because I didn't get any basics. Okay. Um, Drifloon and Cresselia. Don't think we need Cresselia in this matchup, so I'm just going to take the Drifloon. Forgot to click the little button to see what I have the Monkey Dory, I have the Greninja. One of my Gardevoirs is in there, which is scary. Uh, Hyper Roma is in there. Got those. I think I've got everything I need. Is my one of boss in there as well? No? Do I Ultra Ball now for Greninja? A, I feel justified. That's pretty much what I was hoping for. And again, that's why I think Erida is good. Okay. I'm assuming this is Raging Bolt then. Okay. It's a pretty strong opener. Pretty strong opener indeed. I need four energy to kill the raging bolt. Um, maybe they don't have an out to this. I don't know. Maybe my gameplay should just be cycling Mimikyu. We'll see. They have an, another energy? Like how many energy have they seen? Wow. I mean, they just... They've done everything there is to do. You could have argued I should have attached an energy here so I can start poking. I just thought this would be better. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Okay, we have Vessel. Just trying to get as many curly as is possible now. If I end up drawing them, it's fine. Don't think I need Klefki here. Oh man, I could um I could find my Gardevoir, which actually doesn't seem bad. 
But if they boss it, then that might be bad. I'm not going to get the Gardevoir. They're already incentivized to boss me anyway. And I should be able to find the Gardevoir. <clears throat> I didn't check to see... Okay, I am out of Ultra Balls anyway. So yeah, I do have to just find it raw now, but I think that should be okay. Especially if they just can't get around the Mimikyu reliably. So we might just be playing poke them to death with Mimikyu. Do I have five or six energy? Oh, four and then five on the Mimikyu. Arvin can find me my other vessel though, which is good. Probably just going to start spamming Iono. Yeah, I mean, you can retreat into whatever you want. Also finding my boss for this once I have enough. So I need um, five now to KO this. Which is not like the hardest thing in the world. So I need a boss and a Gardevoir and I can kill this. Yeah, I don't have what I want anyway. Okay, there's the boss. There's an energy, so I'm going to start poking with Mimikyu. I have Arvin to find the tools. I doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm in a bad spot, but... I just I don't know what their out is to this. I don't know if they're trying to find bosses to start doing that to me, but... I don't think I'm going to put a Gardevoir down until I have all the pieces ready to one-shot this thing. Okay. I think we're past the point of wanting to Iono. Okay. Now that I have two, I can concealed cards. I don't know if the right plan is to just poke or if I should take out one of these. I kind of want to just slow play, to be honest. I mean, I could also just bring in the Drifloon. Let's do that. This has to be correct. No, that wasn't correct. That wasn't correct. I should have stuck with what I wanted to do. I got greedy. Bossing one of those up doesn't really matter. If I'm not going to boss, then I should thin. At least now I have the super rod so I can put the Gardevoir back if they toast me. Poking with Mimikyu just feels so slow. Okay, I got the other Gardevoir anyway. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. 
So, I mean, if they boss this, I think that's okay, because I'm just going to load up a Drifloon all the way, and then kill, play another Gardevoir, and then if they boss the Gardevoir again, then the Drifloon that's fully stacked will be able to kill another two prizer. So, I think, I think it's everything's fine here. And I think Mimikyu was doing me a lot of favors those first couple of turns, I think. The list feels pretty strong. I mean, I could see Countercatcher wanting to go to two since his deck traditionally plays from behind, but I don't know. The, I would, I really wouldn't know what to give up for it. I could see Temple of Sinnoh or the Hammer, but I want the the Temple for the Stadium that gets uh, that nullifies items, and I want the Hammer to have a searchable answer to the energy off of Arvin. So I really don't want to give either one of those up. And I don't want to give up my second Drifloon or Mimikyu. So the list just feels really tight how it is. Maybe Nest Ball and Ultra Ball are both at two. I can maybe see that. Okay. So we go here. We go here. Here. Six. 12, 18, 24, 30, 30. I also think I want to thin out my deck as much as possible. So Countercatcher is never going to be used. Way too late to get any value out of this Ralt, I believe. I'm not sure I want to give up that energy. I'm not going to boss this turn. Again, I'm just trying to thin out my deck. So if I get Ionode, I can actually have a good chance of drawing all the pieces that I need. This could be just, you know, super overkill, but... I think that's okay. I've been seeing this deck doing uh, really well lately, but I mean, it just like their whole thing is that they're trying to kill two prizers and not single prizers. So it just seems like the matchup should just be, it's supposed to be free. It seems like, and they popped off so hard early. I mean, I couldn't imagine them really having a better setup than what they had. So yeah, it just kind of feels free. Um, Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to knock that out, knock out Gardevoir, but then I'm going to Super Rod, Nest Ball, Evolve Gardevoir, and do the whole thing over again. So it's just too little too late. And I have this option. I'm just assuming they have a boss. If there's no boss, that would be that'd be really great.
what are they trying to find? There's the Iono, which is, you know, kind of what I figured. But now they can't boss me, but now I don't have Super Rod. So this will be interesting. If I find Monkey Dory, I can move some of this as well. Okay, there's Counter Catcher. But then they won't be ahead of me anymore. And if I don't put a double prizer down until I can kill them, then it doesn't matter. Okay, there's Cape. Um, I think this is safest. Okay, there's Super Rod. But I do just have a Gardevoir in the deck now, but I also need to get back a Drifloon. So I can Super Rod the Drifloons and the Gardevoir. Actually. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. I don't need to boss anything, so I don't think it does me any harm to Arvin here. So there's my Drifloon that I can find. This is also Drifloon and potentially something else. This is me just trying to thin out the deck as much as possible. And sometimes you just find it all. But that's why I was trying to get rid of as many cards as possible for this reason. Okay, um... I might I might watch this back later and see if there's a way to not do it with like basically to not be in that position. Like may, what I probably should have done was evolve the other Curlia in the Gardevoir because I just don't need it anymore. And then all I would need to do is find any of the tools or Arvin left. And then I would have had everything I needed. Well, you know, in the Drift Loon. So I don't know. Maybe I maybe I needed the Curlia to try and find all that. But maybe there's an argument there to put the Gardevoir in my hand on the board as well. So that way, um, that's at least one piece I don't have to find. But it did work out. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, again, just kind of getting back into it. That matchup feels pretty easy. I think if they start off any slower than what they did, um, the matchup should be a complete joke. And them starting off that strong, it still didn't matter. So, uh, you know, basically, I hope I run into a lot of Raging Bullet at NAIC. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.